I'm Peter Haddock and welcome to Bauma 2022. I'm starting my journey today on the Hexagon stand and we're starting with Hoppy to take us on the journey through this actual stand, the reality of what we're capturing right here on the huge table shows us just how much stuff is going on in the connected worksite right now. What's it all about in this huge hexagon table? Well, you know, very good question. Um, look, Peter, the, the story about like, how do you digitize a construction site is, is always, well, how do I show this? Yep, right? yep. And so people want to actually see, they want to emerge, they want to kind of be part of it. So we actually, this is an actual construction site, a company called Gnant, they built this somewhere in Austria. And so we couldn't take people all the way to Austria to show it. So we brought the site here, here it is. And here it is, you literally have got a tablet that you pick up and you can zone in to all the different areas. You can actually hover on all the different machines and actually see what they've been doing. So it's fascinating to show actually how this business has done a huge site, lots of different work, but the reality is all captured in this and the job site is in front of us. Folks, this is a must see when you're talking about how you can make a profitable connected work site, but you're gonna to have to understand how you can do that. Hoppy, we've got some other things to see. Come on, follow me. Yeah, we've got to go ahead. this way, folks. So the next stop for me is something new, but something different because this is machine control. You say something different. Hoppy, it's different because this is machine control for smaller machines. Launched today here at Bauma for the first time globally, people can see this. What's it all about? Well, obviously, you know, this is not just for smaller machines, it's yeah. for smaller sites. You know? Right, yeah. Because the key challenge of a smaller site is there's only so many hours you need more productivity out of the machine. But you want to make sure that the people on the site are kind of, you know, in it from the beginning to the end. So the beauty about this one is you can actually use it off the machine. You can map out, you know, whatever operation you need to do. You design, you know, I need a slope here or a ditch, you name it. Then you take that same panel, put it on your um, smaller or compact excavator, execute the work with the known uh, uh, machine control accuracy. Uh, this one, by the way, runs on the, on the proven icon uh, platform. And then when you're done, you just take the same panel again and you check if it actually worked out the way it should which shouldn't be a problem because yeah, it's yeah, done yeah. my machine control. But I think what you see now is that whole integrated workflow from, from off machine to on machine, all using the same kit in one integrated workflow. This is a part of the journey. Of course, folks, what you need to do first, Hoppy, you need to win the job. But guess what? We're going on to another part of the treasure map that Hobby's got right now to show how we can win that job and how we can do some surveying to actually make it as profitable as possible. Come on, let's go. Let's do it. We've come around here. We're going to start over here with AgTech. Now, AgTech is a whole system that allows you to win work. Hoppy, we've seen how this has worked across the, the globe, but it's been big in America. Now it's over here in Europe and people are actually winning work using this system. Tell me, how does it, how does it work and how people can win it? I, I, this is an excellent question. I think the important thing about any site is not just what equipment do I need, but what about the material? Yep. How much material do I move? You know, where do I need to cut? Where do I need to fill? Yep. You know, how do I get it from one place to another place? If, if you get that wrong, you know, your profitability is down the drain. Yep. But also, if you move too much material around where you shouldn't, that has a, a carbon impact also that shouldn't happen, right? You get your material estimations wrong. That means too many movements on and off site. So it's very important you have a very clear idea about the materials being moved. Now, that site we just saw over here, yep. obviously, we, we use our own technologies and along with the customer to figure out, okay, where are the materials to be moved? Yep. Where do they need to be moved? And all of these estimates you can do in here. Once you have that, you pretty much know in terms of what, what equipment, time and resources you need, which is a big part of estimating and bidding the job right. So this is about work winning, folks, and then it's about work delivering. So all of the information that's coming off the machines comes back into here. It's all connected up. You can see how you're progressing through the job site. And of course, folks, when you finish, you actually have a boxed up as built model that says I'm done. And here it is to the customer. But folks, if we're gonna get things super right, guess what we have to do? We have to get the surveying right. 
let's go and get it right. Surveying has become a lot more accessible now. Yep. You know, a lot of the technologies are designed to be, you know, easy to use, easy to integrate, easy to set up. Yep. And so, so this is actually here, uh, one of the things that we launched here. Um, so this is our new smart antenna. Beautiful piece because you can basically take it off base, you can put it on your truck if you just want to like survey the ground, you know, using your truck. You can put it on the machine, enabling uh, some of your machine control areas. Uh, it comes with a brand new panel. Yep. So this panel has a lot more autonomy. Uh, you can use it like with thumbs and gloves on. It, it's, it's a beautiful new piece. And that really brings like quick stakeout and any checking of what you've done makes it very accessible now for anybody on the job site. So this is really interesting, folks. So we used to have, right, take the mushroom, as people would call it, um, and put it on the machine. Then we had to have some surveying equipment. So we had to have another set of that. What you're saying is this has enabled me to take this off, put it on different devices, and therefore I don't need three of these. I just need one of these for when I'm doing that sort of stuff. Oh, I did notice about this tough tablet is actually it is a lot bigger. Um, I mean, we see the smaller tablets here that we've got, but equally, when you're looking at tablets, the thing is, folks, you know, it's about the glare. So this is anti-glare. I can touch it with my dirty gloves and actually do things on site. Now, one of my favorite things, Hoppy, and I've got to do this, folks, step back a little bit for me because it's the tilt pole, the auto tilt pole. It's one of my favorite things here. It's so simple, but yet I can survey like this if I'm doing that. I don't have to go on an angle myself. This tilt pole does exactly that. And it comes obviously again with its own tablet and it links to this. What's this, Hoppy? It's a total station. Yep. And so obviously traditionally, you know, when you had to do this, you had to have it perfectly straight. Yep. And um, so that takes time. It's super accurate, but it takes time. Now with a tilt pole, you, you basically don't have to do that anymore. You know, it follows you. Band is linked up to exactly this one. So you have a number of bolts, you know, uh, they don't get lost. And the total station always know which prism to focus on. And it's, and it's a, a, an extremely fast and extremely accurate way to kind of map things. So we talk about safety, but then we're talking about reality. Uh, we started with a virtual table there, but we've got to capture reality nowadays. So let's go and find out how we do that. So folks, we're now here at the reality capture area. And this is one of my favorite things. It's literally a reality capture device. You can walk around this whole place now and I'm capturing myself in tiny, tiny detail. So this is part of the reality capture suite, isn't it? That we have got here at Leica Geosystems. You can actually have this on a drone as well so it can go up in the air. Tell me about reality capture and if people don't understand what it is, What's it all about and how does it benefit people looking at a job site? Well, of course, um, look, we, made, we saw before how you measure one point and you measure another point. Well, what about measuring a million? What? A million? Just do a million. Yeah, why not? And then click why a not? button to a million and then do you click a button to another million. Well, obviously, this is where you get into 3D scanning, laser scanning. Yep. And so a lot of these technologies now allow you to create a fully uh, digital reality or reality capture uh, um, vision of the site. Right. And obviously each one of these points, you know, every single one is a geospatially referenced. So between these million points, you can measure any point with any other point yep. to see, okay, where is the distance and where it comes into place, where is that current landscape compared to what I planned. So, so very quickly you can see with the accurate uh, most accuracy in terms of where am I on track? Did I build what I was supposed to build? And what is the progress? You know, what we've seen over on, on, the, on, the, on the digital website, um, construction site we saw earlier, yep. you, you actually see that whole website progressing over time. We need to put it all together. We have to do that over here, folks, because this is the time where you can go into the sustainability zone, have a drink, have a coffee, and talk about all of the things that come together on the map that we've just talked about, how it can work for your business, how it can work for the environment and become more sustainable, isn't it, Hoppy? Look, I think, uh, you know, efficiency in terms of less material move to the right place, you know, getting most of your investments, your teams, your capital, that's always going to be more sustainable. Great to see you again. Cheers. Thank you, Peter. Good to have you back.